Welcome friends to the video of the unboxing and review of the nice solar 200 watt bifacial foldable solar panel. This apparently is the newest model. So this is what it looks like. It comes in a carrying case and we'll see. This is the first time I'm taking it outside and uh, I'm getting my opinion as I'm going along. I bought this myself. Nobody sends me free stuff. Uh, even if they did, uh, I'd, I'd prefer to buy my own stuff. So, uh, let's see what it looks like unboxed. So this is the suitcase unfolded. And what we have here looks like a solar panel connector. It looks like this guy plugs into here. One of the reasons I actually like this solar panel is these, uh, connectors over here. Apparently this one can do up to 65 watts power delivery to a laptop and I think like an 18 watts. You see over here, we have the different wattages. USB-C, so it could even charge like a Mac uh, MacBook and up to the 12, up to the 12 volts, 3 amps. Wow, that's pretty good. So let, let's just see what kind of wattages it has. One of the questions to ask yourself is, can it do all three ports at the same time? Can it do um, the laptop charging together with charging your battery bank together with charging your cell phone? So maybe we'll do it in this test, maybe in another one. However, let's just look at all the functionalities that we have. So what I like about this setup thus far is that it comes with this cable so that's an XT60 connector. So it's up to 60 amps, obviously. And um, it has all these different uh, jacks for different uh, types of uh, connections. So I'm a favorite of the Anderson connector right there in the middle with the red and black. Uh, however, these different other ones can work with various different other po power stations and maybe even laptops. Um, so I like this. I like that. The the stand over here. It feels like it's a nice fiberglass one. And so let's read over the instructions real quick. So that's the nice solar instructions. Let's read it over. What do we have here? So peak voltage is 21 volts. Open circuit is 24. Peak power, what? 100 watts? This is a 200 watt panel. You friends definitely don't know what you're writing. Okay, oh, because it's the 100 and the 200. So we're looking at the bottom one. Peak 200 watts. Let's see, 200 watts. Short circuit, open circuit is 22 volts. Peak current 10 volts, peak voltage 19 volts. Okay. So it's a standard 12 volt panel. The output ports. DC takes precedence over the USB C, which limits the power of USB C to a maximum of 10 watts when both DC and USB ports are used at the same time. USB C and A do not support fast charging, so we don't even have to test this. We could actually um, just read the description here. So, DC works with smartphones, work with power banks. DC takes presence over USB-C, which limits the power of USB-C-A to a maximum of 10 watts when both DC and USB ports are used at the same time. So, that answers the question. If I, I either want to charge a laptop or I want to charge a power bank, uh, otherwise it limits it to 10 watts. So while you're charging a power bank, I mean, at 10 watts, you could charge a cell phone pretty well. So I'm happy about that. Okay. Thus far, I'm liking this uh, manual. So we've got the user guide, important safety notes, optimal charging conditions, warranty. Okay. UK declaration. Uh, we got where they got produced this stuff and the rest is in another language Okay So thus far what I like about this panel is that it's bifacial So apparently there's an up to a 20% gain from 
having both sides to be able to absorb the light. We'll see what kind of power it outputs. So on a previous video, on my highest quality panel, which was the PV200, the Blue Eddy, my most expensive and the highest quality, the maximum I was getting was 150 watts. However, that was a different day, and I didn't bring that panel out right now, not to uh, color this review any, any differently from just like you and I would get this package, literally open it up, and see how it works. So I'm actually excited to see can it do more than 150 watts that my best panel, 200 watt panel, was able to produce on a decently sunny day, maybe with a slight haze. So let's see it in the next one. I'm going to set this right up. So open circuit voltage on this panel is uh, 21 volts. So I just connected it to the charge controller. This is what we're working with, the battery power, which can do up to 20 amps. Charge controller. Uh, and we're getting 155 watts. We're getting five watts than my best solar panel that I had, head to head when I was doing three solar panel setups. So, Thus far, I'm actually pretty impressed about this solar panel. Um, I'm actually enjoying this quality here. This whole thing feels like a piece of one laminated plastic. Nice and thin. And it's also see-through. You see, you could get to my fingers on the other side. So bifacial panel. Can we get an extra gate out of this? I don't know. Perhaps maybe if I put aluminum foil back here. I would say I like these. These are nice and sturdy. Feels like it's made of the same plastic material like this. It almost kind of like feels like carbon fiber. I like the thinness of it. I also like the carrying case that comes along with it. That's nice. these stands are nice i also like these grommets that it has on all four corners so it's actually easy to possibly hang it up i like the handle so it makes it nice to handle i like that it produces about five watts more power than my best pv200 solar panel so maybe we're not talking about a crazy gain. However, doing 155 and at the price, Nice Solar has it, what, for 289? And Blue Eddy hasn't lowered their prices yet. Uh, their PV200 panel is about 400. I haven't seen it um, on so maybe less than three. Uh, don't, don't count me on that. I like that it has this connector port. That's very convenient. So if you wanted to, you could just charge your laptop and let's say a cell phone probably at once when you don't have it charging a battery pack. Let's see what it's charging right now. 154 watts, stable. So what we're getting is about a stable 152, 155 and the sun is pretty clear in the sky the sky is as clear as it could be so what is my takeaway for this panel i would say having the other panels um there's a convenience to those other ones because it, it's all in one um what i mean is this the single sided panels allow them to put a little pouch in the back so you could actually put the cord in the back however here you have this um the carrying case so that's kind of nice and um this port over here um with the blue eddy pv200 panel at least um it doesn't have these extra usb ports 
So technically, if rain starts falling on it, they advertise it as being IP67 waterproof. Yeah, sure, maybe this part. However, what happens when water flows into these ports? So by having this design with um, the wire being connected separately and with having these ports to be, um, you know, to have water in them. So one way maybe would be to hang it up by that side to the top on a, in a tree or in a fence, things like this so that if water does come down, it would fall off. You don't want it to get into that port. So the plus is you could charge your laptop directly off it. The minus is, I believe it could actually um, get water in the back. The other plus is the build quality of this panel is tremendous. Um, I'm liking the feel of it, the quality. Um, it feels like this is a very sturdy panel to use for years to come. Um, I like the output of it. So it is producing about five watts more than my PV200 panel and uh, probably 20 watts more than the 135 watt 240 output that I was having on the All Powers SP035 and SP033 was probably uh, a five watt difference. So perhaps this double sided um, doesn't make much of a difference. However, there might be something to, let's say, um, partial shading performance to this. So let's try closing up half the panel and simulate like half the panel is shaded. Oh, you really can't because the back is producing still energy. That's kind of interesting. What is it going to do? So we're talking about a little bit more than half being shaded because see, it went a little bit over onto the next rack. So this might be an interesting experiment on this side. What power does it produce being folded up like that? Oh, it's producing 39 watts. Wow. Okay. So it's producing a quarter of it, even though it's supposed to be able to produce power from the back of over here. Uh, the previous model of this panel I was looking on um, Amazon actually had a much more complicated system where it had like a wire rack and it wasn't attached. So I believe this is an improvement to it. Um, so far, partial shading performance per perhaps maybe is not the best at this one. However, I still like the quality. I am going to keep the panel because it works. Um, it works as advertised. It is a 200 watt panel. Um, but I would say in my mind, the SP035 is the winner for me because of its compactness and its all in one suitcase nature. So you see this one, you have a separate wire. So this is a point of failure. This could get lost. Uh, there's an extra suitcase thing. So that takes up space. With the other panels, you literally unfold it, put up the kickstands, and pull out the wire from the inbuilt pocket, which is an extra protection for any ports that could be on the inside of it. I believe those panels that I was testing didn't have any extra ports on the inside, so that makes them actually more waterproof than this one because of this one. Yes, it does have this uh, uh, rubber grommet that you could fit on top. However, when you have some wires plugged in here the rubber grommet is off you see so it's not blocking that port um okay so let's see what other partial shading performance can we test so it did produce a quarter of the wattage however let's see maybe one more partial shading test throwing a jacket in the middle so throwing a jacket in the middle partial shading test let's see what we have here we're producing 82 watts with a jacket in the middle like that okay uh that's pretty reasonable so it's producing about half with half of it being shaded 
uh, it's up to you guys so um i would say this is a plus let's say if you have a macbook being able to connect directly to it so work on your solar panel however if you're on the outside what kind of internet connection do you really have to be able to use your macbook so unless you have locally like local media like music collection something like this to run um the usb c 65 watts and it's still double the amount it's better to charge a battery pack however they i believe what they did was take some similar from 100 watt panels i, I have one like that that does have several ports also but not as strong as this 65 watt power delivery which is powerful enough for a laptop so plus minus um overall you know no, no panel is going to be 10 out of 10 because certain ones might be better by size by by weight and stuff like this perhaps maybe i would rate it an 8 out of 10 based on all the different functionality uh the build quality of it uh the output power let's see again what we have here 152 i like the stable output of 152 um i like the handles i like that this is the newest technology i like that it's double-sided what um i just don't know what kind of extra power that it would technically uh produce uh maybe when the sun gets onto a different shadow perspective but the minuses this uh, get, stuff getting wet i would be worried about it that's uh that's a minus to me that you know let's say i forgot it in the in the rain i fell asleep i took a nap and uh, my solar panel sitting outside and it got wet will will it damage the port or will there be water most likely it's probably gonna fall in into the port and then uh, fall right out however i wish that wasn't there however the design does not facilitate because it's so thin um having a little pouch on the back because it's a bifacial solar panel so it's probably in a class of its own being bifacial that's kind of cool this is my first bifacial solar panel technology however uh, much extra benefit i can't say so i would probably go with the sp035 however it's the same similar price but the sp035 doesn't have all those extra usb ports that could get water inside them that could possibly damage them so perhaps maybe there's a way to cover up the port um you guys decide i mean put the comments down below what do you guys think about it i mean this is my first time using it um thus far i'm happy with it that's why i'm giving it an 8 out of 10 it's it's not the greatest in the world it's and it's not the worst um the design is definitely improved from the previous version i saw and um yeah i'm i'm just pr pretty much repeating myself at this point um give this video a thumbs up um comment and i'll see you in the next one talk soon